In the closet today, I'm here with Nina Fountain, stylist from Style Gorgeous. Can you tell me a little bit about, about your business and what you offer? Yeah, we offer, so it's mainly me, so when I say we, it's me and, and a few people who help out sometimes. Um, we are supporting women who have either too many clothes or not enough clothes or um, hate their clothes or hate shopping um, to to find a lot more joy in their, in their clothes and in their outfit, basically. Nice. Yeah. So are you looking at what's in your wardrobe? Mm. Are you a capsule? That is so contained. Are you it kind is. of a capsule person? I am not. No, oh. I don't do capsule. I have... Um, Everything is is based around style essentials for me. So there's three, my three style essentials, and then all the other style influences that come in. And um, I think it was probably about six or seven years ago. I had a tiny wardrobe as well, and I realised that if everything didn't work, if it wasn't awesome, then it was just going to be a waste of space. And I didn't want the stress. I had was busy. I started to get really busy at work. So I thought. I'm just going to have things that I love yeah. that I know really work for me. I think that really started my style journey. And it's funny, you, um, you see, and people say, you often only wear 20% of your wardrobe. Yeah. So then I thought, well, just scrap the rest of them, the 80%, and I'm just going to stick with the things that I know and love. Yeah. And that's how the French women dress, right? Like yeah. It's just... Yeah. It's pieces that are awesome on you, that you know you're going to enjoy, that just give you a lift. Your husband has more of the wardrobe than you do. <laughs> Thank you for pointing that out. <laughs> that is so true. But I've got two, I do have two racks. So I have um, this, this is my kind of play and fun and weekend yeah. wear. Yeah. And this is more workwear and, you know, with a few things scattered in there. So, I mean, the first time when I started getting into colours, that's often what colour analysts will say, is that once you've got, once you've understood your colours and you start buying in your colours, then everything will start to fit together. And I remember when I was about 17 and starting to buy clothes for work, someone said to me, why don't you get um, just best tip I could give you is choose one main neutral, whether it's yeah. black or navy blue and to get everything to work around that. I now think there's a lot more variety in, in neutrals and, you know, it's really fashion's not about rules, it's about choice. But, um, but yeah, that, that has been a helpful way to go. You know, you just kind of stick with your colours and then when you're sticking with your body shape and, and your style essentials and that link with your style personality, then, um, you know, it's so you can imagine how it works. Even if someone is really eclectic in their taste, um, they'll be able to find pieces that go together really easily if the colours match. It always suits their body shape and and it's it's something in their kind of keywords or style personality. So you hear blue yeah. stays going out going, oh, my gosh. You know, yeah. Yeah, sometimes you, yeah. What, what is it with those days when you... Yeah. Get up and you yeah. try and get dressed and you've got ten things on the bed. Oh yeah. What is that? Uh, it's it's exactly um it's exactly what my clients don't want and it's exactly what I didn't want. And I think it's confusion, essentially that's what it is. Is it's a lack of clarity about the things that are gonna be um just gonna be great for you in that moment. So right. yeah, so I think it's when you you know, when you know your your playing field, yeah, and you, you know, there's this interesting research around getting kind of technical <laughs> around kids. Um, that the, these kids in a playground, and they studied the difference between what these children did when there was a fence around them, yeah, and when there was no fence because there was a main road just outside the primary school. So with the main road just there, the kids would stay in the in the middle of the the, the area, and that's just where they hung out and obviously they didn't want to get too close to the road but with the fence there they started to use much more of the area and much more of the space ah, right. so we tend to think that those things are going to limit our choices but in fact what I found is it gives you a lot more freedom once you make a few really key decisions interesting yeah 
Yeah, it's, it's really interesting. A lot of problems, yeah. Because I just can't imagine taking my wardrobe down to that side. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I but you're right. I, 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 yeah, I probably don't wear. I don't know. I see it in my wardrobe. And it's really. I think. I mean, the lovely thing about fashion is it's. It's fun. It's an artistic. For me, it's an artistic thing. It's creative. It's beautiful. It's. Yeah. You know, it's colours and shape and bringing that beauty to your life. So. Um, I don't. You know, I think for one person they're going to have a huge wardrobe, a walk-in wardrobe, and another person. You know, this is going to be their, their reality. And for me, really, literally, it is because this was the closet that we that we got when we moved in. Yeah. The idea of living in a one-bedroom apartment, for me, it feels like backpacking. You know, it's kind of like backpacking for adults. You've got, <laughs> you've just got, you've got just what you need. Yeah. And it, it's light. It yeah. just there's a there's a kind of lightness that comes with that. It's, it's nice to not have a lot of stuff. So when you work with someone, do you go into the wardrobe and have a look yes. and then create looks from yeah. what's in there? And then do you photograph them? Yes. Yeah. And you photograph the person in that The look. person wearing that look. Ah. Yeah. That is really key for me is that we're, we're starting with what they already have because sometimes, I mean, one of my clients I can think of, she had 80% of what she had there was actually awesome for her colours-wise, body shape-wise, um, style personality and keywords, it was all there. So she had all the ingredients to create a wardrobe that was really going to work for her. And she thought she was going to need to start again. So she said, just, just come and like, let's, let's see what we need to do. And then um, it was, this goes with that, that goes with this. And she was literally shopping in her own wardrobe, trying things on and going, wow, I have never worn it like that. I didn't realise I could look like this. That's amazing. Mm. And in terms of sustainability, you know, that's mm. one of those key things, you know, shopping your own wardrobe. Oh, yeah. Don't go out and buy something. Yeah. 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 It's, it's, yeah, there could be basics there or there could be something that's a that's a real feature that could become, uh, you know, a bit of a highlight that's that's just not taking its place. And, and I think people will ask a stylist to come and help when they just aren't sure, is this something that I should be giving away or is it... You know, should it have its place in my wardrobe mm. still? So that's where you know I can really quickly look at things, and once I've got to know that person's style personality, that's probably the thing that takes a little bit um, the longest when we work out keywords and things. Then we can be really sure, and I can just kind of, kind of quickly go through and edit. But often it's a bit of a collaborative process because clothes are so personal, aren't they? So everyone's got a story behind that piece or you know, this thing. So the last thing I do is kind of yank clothes out a bit more and say, don't wear that, you're not allowed to wear that. Um, the, you know, really it's about them arriving at a wardrobe for themselves that they feel great in. Nice. Mm. Um, knowing what is your style, mm. I see that as a, um, as a sustainable action mm. because then you're not once you have that understanding you're not off by Absolutely. loads of different things Absolutely. that don't suit you they linger in your wardrobe yes and, exactly yeah. that's exactly right yeah i completely agree and i think you know some of what I, some of the pieces i've got are um more than a decade old you know they're if i can think um, of a skirt that i had made in thailand in 2002 so it's now 2019 so 17 years later I'm still wearing that same skirt because it's all my style essentials yeah um, even though I, I wasn't really tapped into them at the time um, that's why it's lasted the test of time so I think how fantastic that I haven't you know that hasn't gone to landfill it hasn't it's still still in use um, and pieces like that so I I mean I personally think that we're going to see more bespoke wear mm. um, because that's where you get you know if it's not just the bespoke but if it suits your style um, and it's bespoke then you get you get years out of it and it, yeah. it's the quality in that workmanship that helps it to last yeah so yeah I do think that um I'm sure it's happening already as a reaction to, to fast fashion and the, the pollution that it's causing. Your, your wardrobe's really inspired me. Just how 
contained it can be when you know the right pieces yeah. and have the right direction. Awesome. That you don't need yeah. wardrobes and wardrobes mm. and all the space mm -hmm. to put in stuff that you hardly ever wear. Yeah. Oh, I'm so glad. That's amazing. Yeah, the fact that you are, right. as a stylist, that I, see, I didn't expect it. I thought I'd walk into your house <laughs> and you'd have this massive wardrobe. <laughs> so you are. What, yeah. what you are teaching people is actually what you're doing. So. Yeah. Great. Mm. Um, so if people want to find you, mm -hmm. how do they find you? Yeah, stylegorgeous.com. Um, and they can book a style discovery call. So if they like what they see, and um, there's plenty of information on there about how I work, um, they're welcome to, to get in touch. And then we just have a chat about you know, how to solve, where they're at, and, um, and if it's a good fit. Then we can do a number of different things together. Great. Thanks, Nina. It was fun. Thank you. So, so nice to meet you. Yeah.